To test their designs, scientists rely on time-dependent physical simulations using powerful supercomputers. This, however, is no simple task. Designing machinery from simulations requires a great deal of trial and error, forcing scientists and engineers to iterate. But what if they didn't have to test their designs moving forward in time? What if they could start at the desired end result and run the physics simulations backwards to see what caused it? This is a daunting challenge, but Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory has found an innovative solution. A multidisciplinary team of Livermore scientists and engineers embarked on the ambitious three-year-long Dark Star project. Its goal, to develop a new AI-aided approach to solving these computer-intensive physics problems. Leveraging the laboratory's fastest and most powerful high-performance computer systems and advances in generative learning models, the Dark Star Inverse Design Framework helps researchers discover complex, optimized science and engineering design solutions by working in a revolutionary new way. We live in a three-dimensional world, but now go to a higher dimension, four dimensions, five, six. These are abstract spaces we really can't even imagine, but mathematically they exist. The curse of dimensionality basically says that as you add more parameters to your problem, the harder it is to kind of explore that problem space. Imagine shining a, a flashlight to try to find something. It's extremely dark and you can only look in one place at a time. As the number of dimensions goes up, it gets very hard to look and find things. This is where machine learning comes in. We're kind of at a cusp in terms of the curse of dimensionality. A lot of the problems we've explored, it seems that not all of the parameters actually matter in terms of some of our end goals. In those cases, you can almost rule some of those parameters out. Machine learning techniques allow us to very rapidly search those high dimensional spaces and I guess you could say remove the curse of dimensionality. Inverse design is a very powerful methodology that has recently emerged from the fields of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Inverse design is where you take a final state that you want to create and you work backwards to solve for what the initial state is that's going to give that to you. We have to kind of run backwards in time to help figure out things like what kind of geometry we should use, what kind of velocity we should use. Even We can even play with things like additive manufacturing. All of those things are things we can control in this inverse design framework to help us achieve a specific outcome. To do this, you need to combine both machine learning and physics and engineering codes together, and it's really the fusion of those two methods that allows inverse design. We're generally operating in spaces that there's so many knobs that we can turn that it's very hard to understand when turning one knob down and another knob up, how each of those kind of connect together into your overall objective that you're trying to achieve. So the inverse design framework is really important in this case because it's kind of like a way to automatically self-tune some of those knobs where a human might not be able to fit all those relationships in their head. Typically when you design a machine to do something, uh, they're very simple shapes. They're shapes that a human can draw and represent maybe even with an equation, very simply, a sphere, uh, a cube, right? Things like that. We tend to build machines out of those regular shapes. With inverse design, it's really letting you explore what the role of additional complexity is. So what if instead of a sphere, it's something with all kinds of features on it, right? Whether it's a combustion chamber or the wing of an aircraft or a drone. There's no reason that the simple shapes are best. However, up until now, complexity was something that had to be put to the side. It was simply too many variables to either simulate or think about or draw. With AI, we can embrace that complexity, and we're realizing that when you embrace complexity, very often you can find dramatically better answers, whether it be for aerospace engineering, inertial confinement fusion, or other applications that we've looked at that involve time-dependent phenomena. We have the computational resources to run thousands of these simulations in detail. Unfortunately, analysts don't have the time to look through each one of those thousands of simulations. There is a great benefit in building what we call surrogate models, 
And these surrogate models are machine learning models that have been trained from the physics simulations themselves. And so what we will do is run tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of physics simulations. That becomes a training set for the machine learning. The machine learning algorithm learns from those and develops its own understanding of what those physical laws are. So one of the really cool things about these AI models is they can actually be run on smaller resources like a laptop or a you know typical workstation computer. They don't have to rerun all of those computations. They actually are, are going behind the scenes to have already computed the result and they'll be able to see the answers kind of in real time. What I did on the Dark Star team is I wore the AI hat where I was generally fitting huge generative models to thousands of thousands of hydrodynamic simulation results. So one of the special things we've done in the Dark Star project is really empower analysts. These AI models allow analysts to actually look at simulation scenarios for things they didn't actually simulate, effectively interpolating between simulations that they've already run. What we're looking at right now is a simulation result of a high velocity impact between two copper plates. And what we're seeing right now is that we're at the initial time where the plates are about to have impact. But as we progress time further, we can see that there's an instability that grows from the perturbation that was on one of the copper plates. This is actually a live ML demo where we're actually using a machine learning model in the loop to change what some of the initial parameters were um, of this copper on copper impact. So you can see as we change some of these parameter definitions, the instability um, lessens and, and changes shape. But we can actually even go back in time and see the initial result that resulted in that instability. The analyst of the future, right, is going to set up a particular scenario that they're interested in and they're going to run a simulation. But what's different is the analysts in the future will also have the simulation results for all the different perturbations that they could have done. AI is notorious for sometimes having hallucinations or uh, areas where it's just uh, simply not effective. For that reason, it was very important to us in Darkstar that we have experimental validation of the predictions we were making with these tools. And so throughout the course of the project, we conducted over a dozen campaigns, mostly involving high explosive experiments, where we tested the predictions being made by the Dark Star AI tools, as well as our physics simulation tools. The team was amazed at how accurate uh, these models and codes actually are, and how effective they were in predicting the outcome of, of these experiments. There's a lot of industries that can really benefit from it. Um, obviously, anything in fusion research is very interesting to us. There's other applications you can imagine, like for an example, like car crash scenarios, right? You can imagine that you can change things like the size of the door or the height of an A pillar on a car. So you can imagine as two people are looking at a computer and one person over the shoulder says, well, what about if you change this? And the guy, uh, the guy at the computer says, well, I don't know. So he changes it, and then instantly you'll be able to see the ramifications, the results on screen. AI is going to be a big driver for us to get to that future. One day, in addition to forecast models that predict a hurricane's path, scientists might be able to reverse engineer the exact mix of air currents and rising sea temperatures that caused a hurricane to form in the first place. Or how to perfect a fusion fuel capsule starting from the desired energy output and moving backwards in time to reveal optimal designs, leading to the development of renewable energy, fusion power plants. AI-assisted research and design can help us get there. For more information on the Dark Star program, visit Science and Technology Review.